Hello everyone. Today we will make this Hanban list. We can use this in our organization. Here three lists are there. To do list, doing and done. This task will be automatically changed to this list according to, to the check marks in these points. We can check this here. If we are going to start this task, we will check this box. Then the task will be hidden from this to-do list. Then it will be jumped into the doing list. When we completed the task, then we will check this box from the column age. Then the task name will be jumped into the column, uh, the done list. Okay, based on that, we can manage our task in timely here there will be a separate table called task list for each task the start date and end date will be there so based on the start date here in this to do list column i made conditional format if the task is not started within the start day then that task name will be highlighted as red color same as if the task is not done within the date range, then that particular task will be highlighted as red color. Here only we have to do previously the old task will be in the to do list. You can uncheck all these. You can see all tasks are only in the to do list, but not in the doing list or in the done list. When you start the task one just check this box prior to the column to do list then then the task will be jumped into the doing list once you done with that task just check this box that is in the column age then the task name will be jumped into the done list then you can notify the task management if the task is not done in that date range start date range from here that will be highlighted in red color or if that task will not done within the end date the task name will be highlighted in the done list okay quickly we will see how to prepare this this is the task list and the start date and end date of this each task here this is the to do list this is the doing list this list is done. Okay, we will make this center alignments, make it bold and we will assign some color for each list title. Okay, we will make some borders here from more border. This dot lines. Okay, dot line borders for all. Now from the view menu, just we will off the grid lines. Right, pretty good to see this. Now from the developer menu from the insect we will take sec box okay by right clicking this we can edit the test we will remove the old texas from here only the sec box we need we will fix this in the center of the cell just we will take copy of this and we will paste in the all cells just we can select and drag it here Okay, now I copied these sec boxes to this each cell. One sec box is selected. Select all by control plus A. Now from the format menu, we can align this left and align distribute vertically. Okay, now each cell has the sec boxes. Now right click can select one of the sec box and select all. Just press Ctrl and drag this to take one more copy of this. Just pick this in this column. Now what we are going to do is to each checkboxes we are going to do this right click and from the format control we are going to allocate the cell links. So cell links for this checkbox next to the checkbox. Right. Likewise we will select the cell links for each checkboxes. Right, simply we can do this right click, format control. You don't need to use mouse, just press the tab key. The cursor will be in the cell links. Then you can select the 
cell by mouse and click the OK button in the keyboard. Just quickly, we will do this. The whole checkbox are aligned to each cell links. Now we will check this box. The cell links will be written as Drew. Let's uncheck few of the cell. You can see it is converted to false. Okay. Same as we will do this. This column contains six boxes as well. Quickly. Done. Now all cell links align to each check boxes. You can see all check boxes are checked and the cell links are true. Once you uncheck this, that will be false. Now we will align the functions to this uh, list here using if function a link. If this is equal to false, then we will print the first task here or else it will be empty. Okay, you can see and now this is true. It means we are started this task. If we uncheck this, we are not started with this task. So the task one will be printed using this if function. If this is false, if we check this, it will be true. Then we are started this. If this is false, we are not started. Okay. Now we will write this to this column. We will apply this. Then in the doing list, okay, using if function, also we will use or function here. If this cell is equal to false, comma, if this cell is equal to true, then there will be empty. Or else only we are going to print the task one here. Okay, we, are, we have to close the or function here. Okay. Now we will apply this to this all rows. This task is not started yet. We will tick this task, tick this checkbox. So the first task is started. So this is jumped into the doing list. Let's start the second task. Let's check this. This task jump to doing list from the to do list. Okay. Now we will assign the if function to the done list as well using if function. If this cell C5 is equal to false, be empty. Then again if function, if this cell I5 is equal to false, it will be empty or else we will print the task one we'll close the bracket two times because we started the if function two times done now we will apply this to all rows now we will check this from the first task this is unchecked we will check this the task jumped into doing list from the to do list if the task is completed we will check this checkbox now the task name is jumped from doing list to done list we can see the second task now it is unchecked we didn't start the task we will check this to start the task is jumped from here to here now task is completed it is jumped from here to here okay done now we can see in that list few tasks are started from until task 14 it is started uh, and from task 1 to task 8 it is completed done from task 9 to task 14 in working process it is under doing list from task 15 to 20 it is not started we will do a conditional formatting here in this list to do list uh, there are start date and end date. Deadlines are there for each task. If the task is not started within the start date, then there will be a red light. So this to do list is selected. We will take the conditional formatting tools manager using the shortcut 
old plus o plus d new rule from use a formula to determine which cells to format equal using and function the start date start date is this one so using f4 function key the columns will be picks rows will be dynamic so if this date less than today use the today function comma it means and the first task in the to do list let's fix the column and rows will be dynamic if this not equal empty let's, let's close the bracket then the task will be highlighted as red color okay yes here you can see this task date just select the cell shift and space bar to select the row you can see the start date is april 18th but the task is not started yet today april 4th april 20th the task is not started yet so the task is highlighted in red color in the to-do list same as we will do in the done list task if the task is not completed within the end date the task will be highlighted so old plus o plus d is the shortcut to get conditional formatting rules manager again new rule from this equal and open parenthesis select this end date from the task list rows are dynamic columns fixed if this less than today using today function comma also if the task one from the done list here also the rows are dynamic columns are fixed if this is equal to empty here if this is equal to empty let's close the bracket let's see we will highlight as red color yes this task task 9 to task 13 not completed within this time see the task 9 here task 9 should be completed before march 19th but today april 20th is not yet completed therefore it is highlighted as red color okay done you can use this in your organization to follow your task uh, within the assigned uh, date time frames it will good to manage your task in one view